So I am here to let you know about the markers of infection that should be considered when taking a blood test. So basically, the tests that should be covered are total WBCs, relative and absolute neutrophils, relative and absolute lymphocytes, relative and absolute monocytes, relative eosinophils, and absolute basophils. So, coming to the first slide, what should be a WBC known as? What is a WBC? A WBC is the white blood cell. So coming to the total WBC count, it is a blood test used to me measure the number of white blood cells in your blood. The white blood cells are basically cells of your immune system, which are involved in protecting us from certain kinds of infections and foreign invaders. Coming to the types of WBCs, they are of several types. The first form being neutrophils. What are neutrophils? They are the most numerous and most important type of WBCs and they are involved in our body's reaction to either inflammation or fighting from a microbial invasion. The process used is phagocytosis where the cell is involved in engulfing the virus or microbe in order to kill that virus. Relative and absolute lymphocytes. So what are lymphocytes? Lymphocytes are also an important part of your immune system. Their major role is in combating acute viral or chronic bacterial infections. Basically, they are of two types, T cells and B cells. Coming to the other types of WBCs, they are monocytes, eosinophils, and basophils. So monocytes, they are comparatively smaller in number, but they also utilize the process of phagocytosis. They are larger in size and they respond to the bacteria just as the neutrophil did. Coming to eosinophils, eosinophils are basically granular in structure and make up of about 1 to 5% of your WBCs. They are slightly larger in size than your neutrophils and they show an infection response in your body. Like if they are high in your blood, it would show that you have a high infection in your body. Coming to the last type of WBCs, it is basophils. What are basophils? These are basically granular and smaller in size but they have certain enzymes that are released. When are they released? During any kind of allergic reactions, asthma, dermatitis or hay fever. So generally these basophils release histamine and serotonin when they are activated by any kind of injury or infection. We hope these informations were clear for you and why we consider these parameters in order to analyze your blood chemistry. Thank you.